here everyone it is danny and welcome to this updated video this evening i trust and hope that you're doing really fantastic i hope you've been having a fantastic friday thus far and we're going to be taking a look at both of these active tropical storms something very interesting with what is going to be happening down the road with philippe we'll talk more about that later in this update but we'll be looking at what is happening across the north atlantic on a whole and let us go on to these satellite imagery and uh, all that activity we see off the african coast is in a association with a tropical wave which has recently emerged that one is not marked by the national hurricane center to be watched for development over the course of the next couple of days and so there we have philippe and arena and uh, let's drift into the vicinity of the caribbean and here we can see that there is some thunderstorm activity for some spots just as forecast this morning across parts of central america from mexico all the way down uh, into spots in panama as well even for northern south america and then across some areas in the Lesser Antilles, especially sections of the Leeward Islands and then the Greater Antilles. In some areas as well, there is some thunderstorm activity building this afternoon and even into parts of the Northern Bahamas and Florida as well. But across many spots, it's been a rather hot and sunny day as per usual. And so let us now talk more about our active tropical cyclones in a bit of detail. So here we are drifting back to the east and uh, there we can see Philippe to the east of the Leeward Islands and Rina is not far from it. These storms are very shared. If we should look at the visible satellite imagery, take a look at this. There we have those exposed centers. So what is happening is that as these thunderstorms develop and they grow, uh, those winds in the upper levels of the atmosphere displace all that activity. And we can see here that uh, for both of these storms, all that convection is displaced to the southeast of those uh, centers. And uh, Philippe, though, is producing some more activity and is the stronger one. So let us go ahead and take a look at the code forecast for both of these beginning with Rena. So as of the 5 p.m. update this evening, uh, Rena has maximum sustained winds of 45 miles per hour and is moving up to the northwest at 9 miles per hour. So it should eventually uh, become post-tropical as we head into the early part of next week, uh, maybe by Monday. And then uh, it could merge with a frontal system thereafter. And then uh, as we take a look at the cone forecast for Philippe, so there is still some uncertainty with what exactly is going to be happening with Philippe. There are some models such as Euro and even the Canadian model showing that it will drift a bit more to the west before making that turn up to the north. And a track further to the west would allow for some impacts to be felt in sections of the northeastern Caribbean. So uh, as of the 5 p.m. update, Philippe is sustaining winds of around 50 miles per hour and is moving to the west southwest at 5 miles per hour a little bit faster compared to this morning nonetheless still a slow moving storm out there and what could happen to it in the future so as we take a look at some model data now we're starting out with the uh, model guidance so this is the model intensity guidance we can see that most of these models show some eventual strengthening of the system as we head uh, into the next couple of days some models even want to say that it will become a major hurricane and uh, as as for the track guidance, we're seeing a bit more uh, consistency on where exactly this will go. In uh, prior updates, models were all over the place with the potential track of the system, but uh, that track to the southwest or the west-southwest and eventually a turn up to the north is anticipated. Now let's go ahead and take a look at what some models have to show and we're getting started looking at the Euro. So this is as we head into Sunday and there we can see the system drifting very close to the Caribbean, that center being very close to Barbuda before the system continues making its way up to the north and trying to strengthen as it does so. Let's go on to the Canadian model. So Canadian is showing that as we're going to be heading into Monday and uh, even into early Tuesday, the system is going to be making that very close approach, likely bringing impacts to portions of the Leeward Islands. So the main uh, concern would be in terms of the heavy rainfall, even though it would be very much needed and would be a relief from the intense heat that most of us have been dealing with. Let's head on to I Icon. So Icon is showing that the system is going to be remaining just offshore of the islands and then eventually making that uh, turn up to the north while strengthening. Notice how these colors, these yellows, oranges, reds are to the south and southeast of the center. So that is indicating that the shear will continue to have its impact on the cyclone and the western side is likely to be vacant of any substantial activity. Now the high resolution hurricane models are showing something very interesting here. First is the 
HWRF model. And this one is showing that, hey, we could have a major hurricane coming from the leap. We're seeing the maximum intensity with a pressure of 958 millibars, likely a major hurricane at this point, not impacting anywhere. As we head on to the HAFS A model, we're seeing a similar intensity here pressure of 952 millibars so major hurricane status right there but the half B is showing something completely different contrasting that uh, the half B is showing that uh, Philippe will kind of be falling apart all of these uh, showers thunderstorms drifting into the lesser Antilles and into the northeastern Caribbean before they eventually make their way out so that is very interesting to see as well the GFS is also expected that there will be a major hurricane keeping the system well away from the Caribbean islands uh, we see a pressure of 945 millibars. So uh, here we have some consistency with some of these models in terms of seeing a potential major hurricane coming from Philippe. So that is not something impossible at all once the conditions get conducive enough for that to happen. So once the wind shear isn't so strong out there and impacting the system, and we already know that the waters are very warm, that is uh, well on its way to support intensification. And also uh, once there is a moist environment. So those conditions would allow for Philippe to actually strengthen but the good news is that even with that happening because of course we don't want a major hurricane hidden anywhere it is likely to remain out there in the open waters of the Atlantic so uh, even speaking of let's go on and take a look at the uh, wind shear map so here it is and it might be a bit confusing but those red lines are indicative of unfavorable wind shear those are stronger upper level winds helping to displace the activity that is what we saw on the visible satellite imagery earlier so Philippe is right within that zone currently being impacted by some wind shear and there we see Rena a lot more shear impact in this cyclone so much more intensification of Rena is unlikely but Philippe has its shot at potentially becoming a hurricane and as of right now the maximum intensity anticipated by the National Hurricane Center is about 70 miles per hour just below hurricane status so that is what the NHC is expecting uh, to be the maximum intensity of Philippe but again there is some uncertainty down the road and even though we see that the cone keeps the system or the center of the system to the east of the islands of the Caribbean. As we saw, there are some models, including Euro, expecting that the system could make a much closer approach and potentially bring impacts early next week. And as I said, the main concern would be in terms of the heavy rainfall because that can induce flooding. But I will say that that is not a guarantee for sure. So we definitely have to keep watch over the coming days. And of course, I'm here to keep you guys posted. And that is pretty much what I wanted to share with you in this update. So I trust and hope that you found it to be quite informative but if you have any questions as per usual please leave them in the comments i'll respond to you once i get the chance to do so and as always remember to be weatherwise